Hey, camera on me, please. Thank you. So we're here at CitizenCon, finally. I've always wanted to go, but I was either kept on a leash by the higher-ups or just too busy breaking free. You know, corporate. <laughs> Yeesh. So I'll give you a quick spin here to check out the venue, and then we're going to see if we can find some citizens to talk to. See you in a bit. Welcome back. Pretty awesome, right? Now let's go talk to some of our Hubnet booth visitors. So could you tell us who you are and where you're from? Hi, I'm Kim Shadow. I'm currently living on Lorville, you know, out in the, uh, the Scrapper territory. I'm Faber Finn, I'm from Hurston, Lorville. Not really much going on there, to be honest with you. Do you want to talk a little bit about your gear that you got on? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is just something I put together here. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to find material out in the, out in the boonies, so uh, I do what I can, right? You know, a little bit off one corpse, a little bit off another. So it's just the work gear. Bit of this, bit of that. Over the years, you collect stuff, throw it together, and you get your best kit on, you know? Um, so uh, this is the second spare war uniform, but I actually got this in Grimhex. Um, a few years ago, I got invited to an Astro Club event, and he had it in Grimhex, and I actually finished up my cargo run shift, and I didn't have anything to wear going there. So I went to Grimhex, this is a story, I went to Grimhex in the back room, and I bought this outfit from, you know, it was a cardboard box with a nice white outfit on it, and I bought it. I, I paid a really, you know, extreme price for it. If you had Mr. Robert, CEO of Robert Space Industries in front of you right now, what would you say to him? Give me your money right now. Oh, I best uh, shake his hand and leave him to it. Uh, I think that our services could be complimentary to the, uh, you know, the production of Robert Space Industries. So if I could talk with them, then I would love to uh, work out some type of uh, agreement or see what type of opportunities are available. I am the CEO of Ultimate Energy, and we're here promoting our new software system that we're uh, launching with Ultimate Energy. Let's take a break, and next we're going to go check out some of the community booths here. See you soon.
built for life. Welcome back to CitizenCon 2954. Previously, we were checking out the venue and talking to some of the visitors. And next, we're gonna go check out some of the community booths. Hi, could you tell us who you are, what's your org, and uh, what you guys do? I'm Chrome Ninja from Test Squadron. Our big focus is casual gameplay. So the big thing is we are also the largest org. We've got 20, over 23,000 members. I think we had another 70-something sign up yesterday. So I'm Kestrel from Mongol Squad, it's Prince. Uh, we're pirates mainly. We've got a few sister orgs. We've got the, the auxiliaries. They um, help us out if ever we need it. Extra manpower. We've got the Stellar Pack Rats. They're our sort of legal front. They help us out on the legal side of things. And we've got the Muretch Cartel. They do merits, gun running, armors, anything we sort of need. I am Black Rise One. I'm part of Nova Intergalactic. And uh, I'm just going to go through who we are and what we do very quickly. We are split into five branches, starting off with Nova Relief. They are our medical and search and rescue branch. Nova Defense. They are our Navy, Air Force and Marines, our boots on the ground. Nova Corps, our industrial branch. They cover mining, salvage construction and base building. Nova Frontiers, they are our science and exploration branch. They delve into the verse, finding things that no one knows are there. Nova Skyline, they are our diplomatic, touring and racing branch. They are the ones that do our social outreach. Yeah, we're Admiral Esports. And uh, the, probably the famous thing you know is Dagmar Rally, which is our uh, oldest child. Uh, our director Corsair just put this thing up like seven or eight years ago, probably. Hi, I'm Dragon the Fog, uh, the current uh, leader of Black Star Initiative. Uh, we are a private military company, uh, an organization diverse. We do a lot of PvP, we do uh, a lot of combat, gameplay. Uh, we are uh, um, we have a new uh, a civilian branch that does all the logistics for us. They are amazing guys. We do, we do a lot of off the org content uh, where we fight other orgs. We do a lot of PvP in the verse and train you up every day uh, if that's your thing. Uh, so uh, my name is Shapcat. I'm with Atlas Defense Industries. We are um, a player org in the game. We have right around 9,800 members at the moment. Uh, we have three very simple rules. No drama. Don't be a jerk and real life comes first. Uh, and we do everything in game except for piracy. Yeah, uh, my name is Loki Talk. Uh, our org is Medrunner Services. We are a medical org. We uh, receive medical emergencies from players in the game. They go through our web portal at medrunner.space. And we, uh, yeah, if you're in trouble, we get you out, pretty much. And from everything on your table here, is there anything in particular you want to show the people watching from home? Well, we've got the, today. We're giving away tons of free stuff. So we've got koozies, pins, footballs uh, from the skit last year. Little stress balls. Um, yeah, if you guys are here, feel free to stop by and grab stuff. But uh, Test Squadron's always looking for new members. You can come and check whether we've got you in our system. We, we run like a bot system. So whenever we encounter people, we record it. If you if you have encountered us but we haven't hit you, you'll get a sticker. Uh, if we've hit you in the past, we've got some little record on you. You can get yourself a T-shirt. Um, we have. This sort of running, and then we made a little bit of a model for everyone to have a good mood chat. Oh, this model is really cool. Thank you very much. Prince did this one, he's just sits out here oh, smiling. Nice. That's all his work. Here we have a QR code. This is a brochure that gives you a brief overview of who we are, what we do, a bit more in depth. And here we have our postcards. They're part of a screenshot competition that we've put to our members, and these are the winners that are being displayed here today. What we can show you is this beautiful trophy. It's for the Daima Rally champion of 2,955. So that's next year in January. And after Sitcon is finished, the weeks after that you can register and you can try your luck in the dirtiest race in the verse. We have some great 3D prints, which are very nice, but I think the, the highlight would be this kiosk right over here. So what we have here, this is our uh, freight kiosk and our ASOP terminal all in one. So it's got both in it. It's fully interactable. But the best part is, if you have a crypto key, this is an example of one, this isn't a real one. If you have a crypto key, you can insert it into the machine and you can hack the machine. Uh, and then once you complete the hacking process, then you win a prize. Oh, the card came out. There we go. Once you complete the hacking process, you win a prize. 
What's the price? The price varies. Uh, we've given out some uh, Hua puzzle boxes. We've given out some ships, some ship skins, some 3D prints, uh, all kinds of things. So this is just a way for us to show off our skills and to interact with the community a little better here at the con. Uh, instead of just handing out some pamphlets or something like that, this actually gets people to come over, talk to us, engage us. We can have a good conversation. And there you go. That's what you would win if you were actually using a real one. So, yeah, thank you. Do you have a uh, Matt gun here uh, that one of our members printed for us? This is uh, an amazing piece that he did for us. Uh, it's uh, to scale. Uh, it looks big in my hands, but you would imagine uh, gloves for the suit. It's just an amazing set piece, and he did that for us so we could have it here on display. We've been asked about our bottles here. We've been uh, rep uh, replicating the... Uh the refill for the medical gun uh, for our staff members. We've had a lot of questions about those. And uh, we had lanyards and wristbands, but they are pretty much ripped away. We're seeing them all over the uh, convention now, everywhere we see. Uh, it was a lot of fun seeing Jared up on uh, by the table with uh, our little wristband lying next to him. So we're, uh, we're, we're still riding that high right now. Um, yeah, but like going forward, we really want to get some merch out there so people can wear some of that Medrunner swag, some hoodies, some t-shirts, and caps, and pins, and so on. So this is our first Citizen Con. We're only going to ramp it up from here. It's, it's been a pleasure so far. Thanks, Medrunner. Keep up the good work. Now I'm going to head back to Microtech to record the next episode of Hotwire Velocity. So if you guys don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to check out what's been going on in the panels these past couple days, I'm going to put some links down in the description to some content creators that I think do a great job at cooking down all of the information that we got into smaller pieces. As always, I'm Oliver Zark. <laughs>